Jenny and I have done something. We have bought a house that we are going to turn into a bed and breakfast. So we bought this house for $225,000. The house was built in the 1870s. It sits on just shy of an acre of property. The downstairs has one of the bedrooms up front and then a living and dining room. And of course, the kitchen, a butler's pantry, and a bathroom along the back. Upstairs is where the other two bedrooms are, along with another bathroom and a massive closet. You just walk in and you can feel the grandeur that once was. So our goal is to restore it to its former glory. It's a huge job. We know it's gonna take several months yeah. and we feel really confident about renovating the home, but we have no idea how to run a bed and breakfast. We have no one to answer to but ourselves. We also have to write the check, so that's also a little bit challenging. We have a few bees that I do need to address. Dang, seriously, what is, is that bees right there? Well, it is raining. They don't want to go out in the rain either. They're just hanging out there. Maybe they're just, maybe they're just chilling. <laughs> oh my lord, this is bad. Dave Mars, this is not magical. It's a little rough, it's a little rough, but that's okay. <sighs> it's gonna be a lot of work, babe. We have no time either. Oh. Living room, right? So we got living room. I love the floors. The floors, I yeah. think we can redo them. Okay, and this, okay, this so, room. all right. So if this is a bedroom. It's a great size room. There's good windows. This looks like an old chimney. For sure, I, bet, I guarantee that's brick. This room needs a bathroom. This is the kitchen. I actually love this because it's a blank shell. Well, I mean, the thing is we don't need a big, a really big kitchen because nobody's actually living here. So it needs to just be functional. Okay. Maybe be able to make some biscuits on the stove and- I love it. Have some orange juice in the fridge. I mean, how does it work with a commercial kitchen? I mean, well, just breakfast. It's not like- We're not creating a restaurant. So right. I almost think it's something where we provide coffee and like baked goods. Maybe we get some chickens, there's some hard boiled eggs, but then it's just something where people, they prep their own and you can't have them prepped their own. That's weird. Or, They're not making their own eggs. Why are they paying to come or, to a better breakfast? Or maybe Jenny Mars is up early. Jenny Mars does, is not going to have time to come over here every morning and make breakfast. So I think that's another conversation that we need to find someone that's actually going to run this for us. Go check this out. I don't think I want to go out here. This is held up by these things, isn't it? Yeah. Careful, babe. Please, seriously, that it could be all rotten. Like everything. It's not rotten. Stop. Just get away from the edge. I don't need you to break anything. We got a lot of work to do. <laughs> So we bought the house for $225,000. We'd really like to put about another $200,000 in it. And this isn't like one of our clients' home. I don't, we I... actually have to put oh linens, God. we have to put oh beds, gosh, we have no. to put plates. You're stressing me out, Dave, I know. Oh my gosh, it's way more than that, but probably at least three hundred, dollars don't you think? We gotta stop somewhere. It's gonna open up a lot of space just getting rid of this cabinet, Jen. These muscles are not very strong! Is that an old chimney? I don't know what it is. There's brick right there. There is, well, be careful, because that'd be cool to have in this room and feel like is... moody. Oh my oh. god! Oh, hey! With Steve's bees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve's bees. You're gonna I help us it. with this problem. That's what I hear. Steve was Steve's bees. No. He literally is the head of the Benton County bee chapter. So I feel like, you know what? Hey, yeah, there's a lot of bees up there, but we got an ace in the hole and he'll he'll take care of it. Yeah. Is there, are there two queens, like one over there and one over there, or is this all one No, colony? it's gonna be two separate colonies. Each colony has, has a queen. And as yeah. we're going to try, as we're going through and okay. I have equipment, I have a bee vac that is made specifically for vacuuming honeybees out of these colonies. It okay. doesn't hurt the bees at all. Okay. We'll transfer them from this into a hive. Okay. And, but as we're going through, we'll be looking for the queen. And so you can, it's kind of, where's Waldo? You know, How it's do you a, know the queen? Is she bigger? She is a little bit bigger. She's got a longer abdomen, but you're looking through, you know, it could be 50,000 bees looking for one. Holy macaroni. Holy cow. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, I'll get a ladder and I'll start cutting. Regardless of the bees, I've got a lot of demolition, a lot of just stripping off the layers to get this house down to its original state. So 
Yeah. I'm going to take the door frame, the, the doors, just the doors, and have them dipped. All the trim where I can leave it existing is staying as is. Okay. All right, I'm going to start tearing stuff apart. All right, watch this rug. Jenny got a little over anxious and ripped it out. <laughs> now we're trying to protect the floor. This room, what it needs more than anything right now is a bathroom. What we came up with is tomorrow morning, first thing in the morning, I'm going to take the saw and I'm going to open up the other hive to try to recapture the hive. And after that, we're going to take this column and we're going to drop it to the ground. But we're going to take that whole roof off. You're saying it looks completely rotten. To reframe all that is 10 to 15,000. The bigger thing is it's going to be a two or three week setback. Yeah. So there's no fall opening. Maybe Christmas, maybe. So the front of the house is a mess. I mean, the right column is gone structurally. We are also have a bunch of structural issues with the beams supporting the roof. I mean, now that the columns are secure, we need to cut open as much as we possibly can so Steve can go in and save as many bees as possible before we completely remove the column. So look like same as the other one. Are you column. serious? It's gone right here. We'll save what we can, but it's literally. Oh my goodness. This is the column right here. That's what the house is sitting on. What, what, what are the chances of using the lift to lift the whole top of the column out? We can try. Yeah, they're literally, that's a board that's supposed to be supporting the house right there. I always felt like this porch wasn't safe. I never liked to be out on the second story porch because it doesn't look safe to me. But I actually am, again, grateful the bees were there because we now know the amount of damage. I mean, yeah. still want to try to save the bees. You know, we want to rehome them. Like, this was their home. They've worked their little Heinies off. Got little pointy Heinies. <laughs> whoa, 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 There's our hive. <gasps> what? <gasps> oh. There was our hive. B guy's getting. Well, Steve, that was not how it was supposed to go down. Not how we planned it, for sure. When I, I had about 25 come up in my veil all at the same time, and I ended up, when I got in my car, I ended up scraping about 15 stingers out of my face. So. Oh my gosh. So what do you think? Where do we go from here? I think for now, we've got to kind of let them settle down. Right now, I've got so much alarm pheromone on me. You can't do it much better. They're, they're, you see, they're all over me right now. But we're going to have to get that opened up and kind of spread out. So I mean, these bees, they, they left a lot of damage, a lot more than anyone could have foreseen. And you know what? We've got to push forward. Um, we, we just tell our kids, like, hey, Keep pushing forward, keep pushing forward. There is light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, this is a peephole. It's way, 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 way it's down there. a very there. long tunnel. I just kind of wish I could give up on this house. I know, I was just thinking, this is turning into a really big nightmare. It was like, I don't know, like I feel like this bed breakfast is just slapping me in the face a lot. <laughs>